I'm Gustav McPherson. I'm a private eye hired to help find and arrest the person who attacked you. I'm Vladana Tominova. I haven't said that in a long time. I'm usually just Vladana. Do you feel up to a few questions? I can always come back later. No, that's okay. You can ask me questions if you wish, but I'm afraid I won't be much help. Besides the sketch you gave me, can you describe your attacker with a, a little more detail? The top hat was black, and so was his cloak. The mask was silver white. It had motifs on it, but nothing I can describe accurately. When were you attacked? About two months ago. Where did it happen? It happened near the park. I was coming back from Mark's studio, and... Take your time. It was very foggy that evening. I heard someone walking in front of me. I could hear his footsteps getting closer and closer. I stopped when I suddenly saw a silhouette appear behind the fog. A man in a top hat wearing a dark cloak was standing in front of me. I froze. I couldn't move. I was absolutely terrified. What happened next? He approached slowly. I noticed that he was wearing a mask when he walked out of the fog. He looked like death itself. I hadn't noticed how close he had come to me. He took a swift swing at me. As he did, I let out a scream. At first I thought he had missed me, but then I noticed the metallic taste in my mouth. I put my hand to my face and looked at it. It was full of blood. Then I felt a cold sensation in my chest, followed by a sharp pain. Then another. Then another. I screamed what seemed to be my last breath. I fainted after that. I woke up in here. He'd stabbed me over and over. It's a miracle I'm still alive. How did you end up here in this joint? Roman found me. He was the one who scared off the killer. He heard me screaming, so he ran in the direction of the commotion. I don't know much about that. You should ask him. You mentioned earlier that you left Mark's place the night you were attacked. Who's Mark? Mark is a local artist. Most of the girls know him. I think he's painted all of us at least once. Was Mark acting strange that night, or was it business as usual? Everything was fine until Inspector Skalnik showed up. Inspector Skalnik talked to Mark. What did they talk about? I didn't really pay attention to what they were saying, but they were arguing about something. When Skalnik left, Mark told me to get dressed and leave. He told me he wasn't feeling well enough to continue. Was he angry? He was, but he made a good effort not to show it. So I left quietly without saying a word besides good night. In general, Mark was always nice. Yes, always cordial, very polite and well-behaved. He would give us double what we charge a client for the time we spent posing. It was a lot better work, let me tell you. I only posed for him once, and I wish I could do it again. Where can I find Mark? His studio is in front of the canal near the old wall. Well, thanks for answering my pesky questions. You're welcome. Take care of yourself, Ledena. And you be careful, too. Thanks, I will. I see you've solved the dog problem. Yeah. He's a very good, but very dangerous dog. What is this place exactly? This is our inheritance. Great, isn't it? 
Peter and me took care of this place after our father died. How'd you get mixed up with a guy like Odakar, if you don't mind my asking? When we were younger, Peter and me had a small operation going. Petty theft was our main business. This place is perfect to hide stolen goods. Anyways, Peter and me would get arrested from time to time. Suffice it to say, the thieving wasn't going good. We're not exactly good at blending into the crowd. Did you guys ever wear masks? Masks? Yeah, to cover your face. To hide your identity? No, we never did. Now why didn't I think of that? Masks, huh? I'm sorry I interrupted you. So how'd you hook up with Odakar? Oh, yeah, well, we decided to work for him because our business wasn't going well and we needed money. Masks. We should have worn masks. And? So, Autocar offered to pay us good money to protect certain investments he had in the neighborhood. And that's pretty much it. Did you ever think of doing something else? Well, yeah, of course. No one wants to do what we do. We do it because we have no other choice. What I really wanted to do is open up a club. Not a joint, but a classy place like I've seen in pictures of New York. Ah, I know what you mean. Huge classy joints where you have a host at the door that escorts you to a table and lots of different acts on stage from across the country. Yeah. Also, a, a small orchestra that plays jazz music. Well, you never know. It could happen, right? Uh, I would doubt it. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's a dream itself just getting into one of them. Well, it was nice meeting you, Roman. I hope our paths cross again. It was nice to meet you, too. And, uh, thanks for getting me out of jail. Think nothing of it. Is that Big Bertha? Hi, Peter. Hi! Seems you got away from raw meat! Do you scare your new friends like that all the time? I'm sorry for what happened. The chain doesn't usually break. It was funny to see your face, though. <laughs> I always do the same gag to the new guys. What do you do for Otokar besides roughing people up? I hurt people that Otokar doesn't like, like I did to you. Y yes, well, that's what I meant. Besides hurting people, what do you do for him? No besides, I just hurt them. You're not very quick. <laughs> but you make me laugh. <laughs> okay, I guess that's my cue, Peter. I'll leave you to your hurting people. But I think you should cut down on the raw meat gag. I need a new pair of shorts. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have to fix the chain.
Hel Hello? Hello? Yes? Sorry about this. I knocked and the door opened, so I came in. That's quite all right. And you are? I'm Gus McPherson. I'm a private detective hired to help out with the local murders. Really? A genuine private dick, and I can tell by your accent you're American, too. This adds so much to the authenticity of the stereotype. The name is Mark Ackerman. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Are you British? No, I'm a Yank, just like you are. The accent is due to living in England throughout most of my childhood. You see, Daddy is an ambassador. I sort of picked it up along the way. I hardly notice it anymore. Mark? Qui est Stay in your position, Napolina, please. Do you have time for a few questions? For just a few, yes, of course. It's sort of exciting, this private detective stuff. I'm sorry, but I have to ask this. Did you ever employ these women other than for modeling? I was always professional, Mr. McPherson. I never touched those women. Again, I apologize, but I have to ask these types of questions. It's quite all right, I understand. This was a while back, but do you remember when Inspector Skalnik came here to talk to you? Actually, according to rumor, you had an argument with him. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And do you mind telling me what it was about? Not at all. He accused me of being, as you put it so eloquently earlier, the local problem. He accused you of being the killer? Yes, can you believe the gall? I mean, really, me, a killer. It's totally preposterous. Did he elaborate on his theory? Not really. He only confronted me. He didn't present any proof or real evidence to support his allegations. I'm afraid you'll have to ask him about his little hypothesis. Marc! J'en ai marre! Well, I believe that's my cue. Yes, indeed. I must get back to work before... Well, before... Yes, I know. Thanks for answering my questions. Can I come back later, maybe when you're less busy? Certainly. As I mentioned before, your best bet is to talk to Inspector Skalnik. Well, again, my thanks. You're quite welcome. And good luck. I never figured out what that was. Hey, friend. Mr. McPherson, what can I do for you? I'd like to talk to your boss. Is he in now? As a matter of fact, he is. Are you gonna pester him with annoying questions? How'd you know? No oh, wild guess. Go right in, my friend. It's up the stairs at the end of the hall to your right. Thanks. This chair design will never catch on. That looks nothing like him.
It seems that everywhere you go, there's an Alphonse Mucha. It looks like no arrest warrants have been issued. Hey, Inspector Skalnik? If it isn't the knight in shining armor. <laughs> you son of a... What do you want, McPherson? I was on my way out. I'd like to ask you about Mark, the local artist. What about him? Well, I thought I remember you saying that you had no suspects related to these crimes. And this charming gentleman says otherwise. What did he say, exactly? He said that you accused him of the crimes. May I ask why? Yes, I considered him a suspect. Wouldn't you? It doesn't matter what I think. That's all the time I have for you. Fine. Can you at least lend me the files on the other victims? No, McPherson. Why not? I just want to consult them. Hey, I thought we were working to... No, we are not. I work for the mayor, not the whores. Well, now, it seems we work for the same kind of people. Except my clients have character and honesty. This concludes our conversation. I have business elsewhere. Hey, Kaz, I need another favor. What can I do? I need to get some files from Skalnik's office. Can you let me in? I'm afraid I can't do that, my friend. That could mean my job. Ah, oh, come on. For old time's sake. No, really. I can't help you. But maybe... Maybe the workers on the side of the building can help you? All right. Thanks for the tip. Have a nice evening. at least a couple of these. Thanks. I got what I needed to continue. 
Anything else I can do for you? No, not right now, anyway.
all right? Yes, I'm fine. Didn't we talk about you staying at home safely, behind a bolted door? Yes, we did, but we also talked about me going to see the doctor. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that. So what did the doc say? Did he find the problem? Well, yes, he did. So, what's wrong? Can I ask you a very serious question? Okay, now I'm worried. What is it? How serious are we? How serious? Well, uh, why do you ask? Just answer the question. I'm sorry, Ida, but where is this going? Do you love me? Yes, of course I love you. Actually, love is too small a word. I lure you, I love you, I lobe you. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Really? Yes, really. That's why I've been sick for the last couple of weeks. I see. What do you want to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Which is? Let's get married. Really? L let's do it in New York. I have some friends and family that can help us get started. Oh, Gus, you're wonderful. Looks like the benches have been changed. Now where are the old ones? Hey, Peter. Hello, Gustav. I like your name. It reminds me of my father. Oh, your father's name was Gustav? No, Michael. I can see why you would think that. Anyways, I need to ask you a question. Did you guys ever receive some old public benches? Hmm. Yeah, we did. They're right over here. you are. Thank you, my very large friend. <laughs> you make me laugh. And it's a good thing I do. I'd hate to be on your bad side. Actually, I know what that's like. Why did you want to see the benches? I was just looking for something. Oh, okay, Michael. See you later. My name is... Uh, never mind.
that bath was empty at the time. This message was carved recently. Someone is leaving breadcrumbs. Hello again. Hello, Mr. McPherson. Can you help me out with something? Of course. I want you to take a look at this picture. Do you remember what happened that day? Yes, I remember. How can I forget it? I'm the one who found Katarina. Inspector Skelnick asked me a few questions. At that particular time, was there something out of the ordinary? Something you might have seen that struck you as odd? Or maybe something you know about the area that no one else does? The only thing I saw that seemed out of place is that Inspector Skalnik threw something into the sewers. Did you see what it was? No. He turned his back and he let something drop. I saw it fall between his legs. It was something shiny because it caught my eye. Well, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Gustav! Yes? I'm really worried for Apollina. Uh, don't worry. She's with Mark, the painter. I know, but she should have been back by now. It never takes that long to model. You've modeled for him before? Yes, I did, and I didn't like it very much. Why? Well, I don't like him too much. Was he mean to you? No, actually, quite the contrary. He was always nice. <laughs> too nice. It just gives me the creeps. Anyway, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you just go and look at Mark's studio? Okay, I'll have a look. And if Apollina's there, I say... That Milena wants to talk to you. I'll do as you wish. Thank you. Strange. No one's there. I think I'll let myself in.
certainly recognize the one on the right. Eda never told me she posed for him. The one on the left reminds me of Frantisca. On the right side, I haven't a clue. Vladan on the left, and he finished Apollina. The paint is still drying.
recent too. Mr. Ackerman, your indiscretions are becoming too expensive to cover up. Your father is resigning as ambassador. You will be returning to America with him shortly. Get your affairs in order. Bell, U.S. Embassy. So, any news? I went inside and there was no one there. Did you find anything? No, but I definitely want a word with Skalnik. Miss Milena, have a pleasant evening. I'd stay off the streets if I were you. Tell me what you found. I found nothing. Stop worrying. wishes you good luck in finding the murder. I think that concludes our agreement. Farewell, Inspector. My thanks to the Ambassador. And as far as our murderer is concerned, well, let's just say I have the perfect man to take the fall. Why, that son of a bitch. I never imagined this. I mean, this isn't the image I had of your room. Miller, what the hell are you doing here? I imagined something more along the lines of Hellraiser. Christ, Miller. Sorry, I'm in shock here. I came because the prints on the bottle and the partials match at a 99% probability. Kolar seems to be our best bet. Really? Yes, and I thought you'd want to pick him up. Okay, I'll meet you over there. Wait for me before taking action. Of course I will. <laughs> 